Yeah, we need to find a sweeper. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to three. Well, we get one draw at it to have a chance. Opponent passes. We draw Bantu's Last Reckoning. Oh my goodness, we did. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker. When you order over at cardkingdom.com, just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and we got a sweet one this week. You've probably heard of 8 Rack for Modern. Well, 8 Racks is just not enough for us. We are playing 16 Racks in Modern, the discardiest deck that you could possibly play, I think. Emptying our opponent's hand, punishing our opponent for not having cards in hand, all on a $88 budget. So let's talk about the deck, jump right into the game, starting with the original rack. So if you've heard of 8 Rack, the 8 Racks are four copies of the rack and four copies of Shrieking Affliction. These cards are very close to the same. Essentially, if we can get our opponent down to zero cards in hand, they're each going to hit our opponent for three damage on their upkeep. So this rewards us for making our opponent discard cards. There are some small tweaks, but essentially, like, the simplest way to think of these cards, if we get our opponent empty-handed, they're going to be taking lightning bolts to the face every single upkeep over and over and over again, and they stack up. So these are the original eight racks, but we also have some new racks added to the deck to get up to 16, and these racks come in the form of Planeswalker. So uh, rack number three, I guess, or racks nine through 12, are Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. So Davriel is really awesome for this deck. Not only is it a pseudo rack, once we get our opponent down to one or less cards in hand, they gotta take two damage on their upkeep. So not quite as good as a rack, but pretty close. More importantly, Davriel is also a discard spell. We can negative one it to make our opponent discard a card. Well, any player really, but it's gonna be targeted to our opponent with this deck. But make a player discard a card. So not only does this punish our opponent for not having cards in hand by making them take damage, it also helps us get our opponent empty handed. Then we have our last rack. Racks number, this would be, what, uh, 13 through 16? Liliana Waker of the Dead, and I think this card is insane. This is maybe my sleeper pick from Corset 2021. I think this card is so underrated, and it is, again, just perfect for the deck, because it is a discard spell. Plus one, each player discards. That's fine. We're fine with discarding. If we can get our opponent empty-handed, we don't really care for empty-handed as well. Negative three, we can kill something, so it gives us a removal. More importantly, that plus one, if we plus and our opponent can't discard a card because they're empty-handed, they take three damage, which means Liliana is essentially another version of the rack. If we get our opponent empty-handed, they're taking three damage from Liliana as well. So this gives us a ton of payoffs. 16 racks to punish our opponent for being empty-handed with some of our new racks, the Planeswalker-y Super Friends racks, also helping make our opponent discard cards. Then we have our discard. So on turn one, Inquisition of Kozilek, steal something from our opponent's hand. Raven's Crime, one mana to discard a card, plus we can retrace it. So if we draw too many lands, we can discard those extra lands, make our opponent discard. Wrench Mine, great in most matchups, as long as our opponent doesn't have an artifact, making our opponent discard two for two mana is a really good deal. If they do have an artifact, it's a little bit worse. But these cards combine with our Planeswalkers to make sure our opponent's empty-handed, to make sure they start taking damage from our rack effects. We also have Smallpox, which is like partly a discard spell, partly a removal spell, making each player lose a life, discard a card, sack a creature, and a land can be very punishing in some matchups uh, because we don't really need that many lands for our deck to work, and we have some shenanigans for us. So another discard spell that's also removal. Speaking of removal, Fatal Push just member to deal with creatures that slip through, plus Liliana helps here as well. As far as the mana base, Castle Lockwain's the big non-basic in our deck, giving us a way to refuel. Remember, like, Liliana makes us both discard. We got a bunch of cheap discard spells. Once our opponent's empty-handed, our discard's not that helpful. So Castle Lockwain's a good way to uh, just generate card advantage, find more discard spell, find more racks, mobilize district, basically our budget muta vault. Uh, Forda activates a lot, but it gets cheaper with our Planeswalkers. Deck more salvage, combos with our Raven's Crime. We can keep dredging it back to our hand, making our opponent discard by discarding it every turn. A bunch of swamps in the sideboard. Delirious Kinds, really good discard for combo and control matchups. Symmetrical discard three for three. But if we're playing a combo deck, playing against some control decks, we're fine with being empty-handed. We refuel with Castle Lock Wayne anyway. And making our opponent discard three is really, really huge. Collective Brutality, removal slash discard. Bantu's Last Reckoning, Ratchet Bomb for sweepers. Ashiat Cling to Dust, help against graveyard decks. Really important because we're making our opponent discard cards. So if we are playing against Dredge or even an Uro deck, we can be kind of helping our opponent by making them discard. So Ashiok Clean does take care of that. Sorcerer's Spyglass, kind of a catch-all for Planeswalkers and such. And that is 16 rack 
probably better known as Discard Friends for Modern. That's our budget magic deck for this week. Let's jump into it. See this deck in action. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon. All right, budget magic time. We are, ooh, hmm. All right, we are, uh, we are eight racking. Actually, like, I don't even know. Sort of 16 rack? <laughs> Basically, super, fe uh, super friends, eight rack discard in modern. In this hand, we're missing our early game discard, but we have two good discard planeswalkers. And they're going to help turn on this mobilized district. Uh-oh. Human. Well, we're probably going to need some removal and need it quick. Opponent, champion of the parish. And more lands. Well, mobilized district. Go. Hmm. So we have a couple of sweepers in the sideboard. Main deck gets all targeted removal, and we don't have any in hand. This might be this might be a tough one. Oh, not Thalia, please not Thalia. <gasps> Thalia. All right, things are getting worse by the second. <laughs> uh, put it. Hits us. Sure, sure, sure. Down to twenty. Uh, more lands. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is a little slow. Doubly so. If it wasn't for Thalia, it might be okay. But with Thalia. Good lord. Slow, slow, slow. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to 14. Still has six cards in hand, so nowhere near getting uh, shrieked yet or afflicted. Another ziggurat. And the noble post-combat noble hierarch. Interesting. I mean, I guess we're okay with that. We would rather take two than four. Wow. Why would you do this post-combat? Huh. Okay. I mean, I don't think it matters. I think we're super dead <laughs> regardless, but that's a oh, another swamp. All right. On two, on a game two. We don't have any sweepers. There's no way we can draw enough targeted removal to get out of it. Our opponent was even nice enough to save us three damage last turn and still... <laughs> four damage, still doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so we get to bring in two collective brutalities, two ratchet bombs, two Bantu's last reckonings. We go down. Hmm, what are we trimming? We need all of our removal. That's number one. We can probably go down like one Davriel, one Liliana, one Raven's Crime. Um, hmm. What else can we cut? One Raven's Crime. Oh, I don't really like cutting racks. Those are like the core of our deck. But we need the discard to make them work. Can't really cut Inquisition. Smallpox is technically removal. And discard. Maybe it's another Davriel. Davriel does seem pretty weak. It does seem like it's going to come down, make our opponent discard, and die most of the time. Which is not great. Yeah, all right, let's go to another Davriel. Do we get on all the Davriels? Do we have enough discard? All right, let's 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 go down the Davriels in this matchup. Against this Agri creature deck, I feel like Davriel is probably just... Our opponent gets on the board quickly enough that it's going to be discard one for three mana and gain like two life, which I don't think is enough. Hmm, all right. Well, can't keep that one. One land, no keep. Well, all right. Fatal pushes are good. We will keep Fatal Pushes. We'll put Collective Brutality to the bottom. So I guess our plan is just to kill and kill and kill, and then eventually maybe be able to start taking up Liliana. Uh, Boonit, Cavern, on Human. And the noblest of Hierarchs. Well, Fatal Push, Noble Hierarch, Undep. Ooh, Castle Lock Queen's very good. We're going to get empty-handed with this hand pretty quick, and that'll give us a way to find our discard in our racks. Ziggurat for our opponent. And... Freebooter. Well, we will fatal push Freebooter. Pony does get a peek at our hand, but that's fine. They know about the Liliana. Well, two threats down. Not especially powerful threats, but they do need to be answered. Bonet. Hmm. What's our best draw? Maybe just more discard. More discard, more removal. Well, Castle Lock Wayne. Go. Uh, boot it. Silent clearing. And... Ooh, our yeah, champion. All right, that's actually pretty good against our deck. And the noblest of hierarchs. Ooh, Bantu's Last Reckoning would be sweet. Yeah, we can't actually kill this very easily. Actually, at all. Opponent, passing. I'll play Castle Lockwain. Liliata. I think we just tick it up. Make our opponent discard. We can get rid of a swamp. Opponent. Whoa, dear. Pitches Thalia's Lieutenant. <laughs> wow. What is their hand? Like, gotta be Mantis Riders and more Thalia's Lieutenants? If that's the card they're discarding, their hand has to be insane. Unsettled Mariner. Okay, that seems... So, Unsettled Mariner and Thalia's Lieutenant? So, we basically just need to draw... Wow. Okay. Well, that's actually relatively fine. That's way less troublesome than I expected. 
Thales Lieutenant seems better than all of these cards, honestly. Opponent, you're gonna get in, hit Liliana. We draw Castle Lock Wayne. Hmm. Well, pay Castle Lock Wayne. Take up Liliana. Get rid of another Thalia's Lieutenant. Pass the turn. So we're gonna lose Liliana, but we do get to start drawing cards. If we find Castle Lock Wayne, it'll be very, very good. Or <laughs> Bantu's Last Reckoning off of our Castle Lock Wayne. Opponent cashes in the silent clearing, draws a card. Ziggurat. And Phantasmal Image. On Unsettled Mariner. Well, draw a card. Ah, the rack is damage. But unless we can sweep the board, I don't think it's fast enough. So we drop to 18. Liliana dies. Inquisition's pretty dead. Well, play the rack. Oh no. Oh dear. These unsettled mariners are ridiculously expensive. Oh boy, they're actually really good against us. I didn't realize... Oh, yeah, that's actually very strong against our deck. Opponent takes three. Come on, Miraculous Batu's Last Reckoning off the top. Opponent hits us for a lot. Seven. Oh, we're running out of time. We need the sweeper. Down to 11. Opponent passes. I'll play deck more salvage. Draw a card. We can't even Raven's Crime because of Thalia. Pass the turn. <gasps> oh, one, two, three. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think they got us. We just couldn't find our removal. Found it. Down to 17. Yeah, we need to find a sweeper. And we just didn't find it. Found it. Gets in. Hits us. Down to three. Well, we get one draw at it to have a chance. Found it passes. We draw Batu's Last Reckoning. Oh, my goodness. We did. Well, all right. Uh, Bantu's Last Reckoning. Raven's Cry. Well, alright, we'll see. Well, this does keep us tapped down for another turn, so like Mantis Rider, or basically any threat here, is still probably gonna kill us. We found it, but we found it once we were all the way down to three, which is very fragile position. Cavern. Come on, no creature. Ooh, no creature, okay. Hmm. Now well, play Mobilized District. Pass the turn. Mobilized District, ugh. So Mantis Rider just straight up kills us. In the future, Mobilized District can block ground creatures. Potentially. Higher arc. Okay, that's fine. And Phantasm. Oh, okay. Well, opponent's out of cards again. Opponent. Two noble higher arcs. Passes. Um, well, one, two. One, two, three, four. All right, smallpox. Sag the deck more salvage. Get rid of a higher arc. Pass the turd. Oh, there's hope. There's hope. Is it enough? Wow, this is ridiculously close. Opponent goes to nine. What do they draw? Unsettled Mariner. Opponent. Well, let's go to one. Draw a card down to one. No dredging. Ugh, that's not ideal at one. Uh, no dredging. Also not great. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, opponent! Down to six! What do they find? Oh, this ended up being super close. Another higher. Okay, that doesn't kill it. Oh. Hmm. That means we got a chump block? Ugh. That actually might kill us. Wow! Another higher does not look good. Okay, so what we need is to draw a rack off the top. If we draw a rack off the top, we win. If we draw Lillian off the top, we win. So we actually have a lot of outs. We could also draw like a Fatal Push or something for Unsettled Mariner. Oh, come on deck, come on deck, come on deck. One good top deck, one more, one more. No dredge, Fatal Push, okay. Technically, Fatal Push does get us out of this. Opponent, down to three. Opponent goes to combat, attacks. Well, we will Fatal Push. Wow! The Bantu's Last Reckoning might end up being enough after all. Opponent's got to hold on to that card. But then we have the we have the Wrench Mind. No dredge. Yeah? I mean, Raven's Crime you? Wow, the rat came through. Just barely. <laughs> all the way down to one. Oh, okay. Wow, that was close. That was ridiculously close. But it did kind of work. Hmm. Smallpox feels worse on the draw. Let's go down to Smallpox, up a Liliana. Liliana at least is removal. 
I think we want as much removal as possible. Wow, that was a ridiculously close game. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I mean, that is our recipe for success. Hopefully find a sweeper at some point, cast some removal, stick a rack or two, cross our fingers. I think we actually keep this. We don't have any removal, but we do have a lot of discard. And our opponent's mulliganing. And mulliganing against a discard deck is especially painful. So hopefully we can just take the good stuff from our opponent's hand. Ziggurat and... The noblest of hierarchs. Uh, opponent. Passing. Wouldn't mind drawing into removal. Well, uh, let's actually Inquisition first. Inquisition, you. Take, hmm. I guess Mantis Rider is the most problematic. Pass the turn. Horizon Canopy. And are we bugling? We are bugling. It's an Oriok Champion. Uh, play the Swamp. Wrench Mine. We still are going to need to draw removal, but... Opponent discards a champion. Gonna hold on to the meddling mage. All right. Well, if we can draw some removal, we're not in the worst shape here. Opponent runs out meddling mage. What do they name? Fatal Push or Bantu's Last Reckoning, I guess. Okay, names the Wrath. Hits us for two or three. So now we are gonna be able to get our opponent empty handed. Still gonna need to draw removal. Opponent hits. Ooh, that's Fatal Push. All right. So. Uh, Raven's Crime. Get rid of our opponent's last card. Ooh, it's General Kudro. That's a good one to get rid of. Play a Mobilized District. Pass the turn. We might actually be in okay shape here, depending on what our opponent draws into. Opponent, combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, we will Fatal Push Meddling Mage. Take two. Down to 15. Opponent passes. That seems worth it. Now, let's Smallpox discard a swamp opponent discards ether vial we'll sacrifice the swamped opponent sacks the mana dork you're down to one land we'll play the castle lock wade pass the turd and we're actually in pretty good spot now i think opponent untaps hits us for two man another smallpox would probably seal the deal well we draw a swamp we will raven's crime our opponent actually no well do we yeah i guess we should the other uh, argument is to leave up Mobilize District. Yeah, I think we do it. We can't activate Mobilize District this turn, but we need one more one more land to turn it on. All right, pass the turn. Opponent, gonna hit us. Down to 10. We draw Liliata. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 yes. Liliata, Waker of the Dead. Kill that Militia Bugler. The board is swept. We have the Liliana. Pony has one land. Oh, it's going to work. Pony. Silent clearing. Passing. I'll play Shrieking Affliction. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. Pony takes three. Oh, what a what a performance. Pony down to 14. Cavern of Souls. So they're taking six this turn? The race is on. We draw. The rat. Oh, man, they're taking nine this turn. Play the rack. That is why you play a million racks. Pwn it down to 11. Pwn it drops to 5. And I don't think they can beat us. I think they're just dead. I think they're just straight up dead. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What a performance for Liliana and the racks. Pwn it draws a card. Sacking a land. Desperation. And scoops it up. That was a ridiculously impressive performance. Wow. That feels like a tough matchup. Pwn it kicking on the board quick. They can, uh, they can present a pretty fast clock. They have these random dorks. But we are able to get there. Like, removal, the smallpox was super key. And then eventually Liliana, so underrated. Just, like, so underrated. This card's so good. I don't know why, uh, why more people don't play it, but Liliana's really good. Well, all right, that was a sweet one. Sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are racking it up. In, uh, in Modern this week, and eh, we'll try this. Little light on discard, but we have lots of removal. See what our opponent's up to. We do have two racks, so if we can actually get our opponent empty-handed, things are good. Uh, all right, land and Inquisition, you. What are we up against? Oh. Oh, it's Tron. Um, well, we will take Sylvan Scrying. Well, come on, discard. Opponent, power plant, one of... Probably several. Opponent. Hmm. Well, let's Inquisition. Take Walking Ballista. 
play the rack past the turn. Oh boy. All right. So lands are actually kind of good because it gets us to cast a lock Wayne and allows us to cast our rack walkers. Opponent doesn't have Tron at the moment, but they do have two not super expensive planeswalkers. Opponent draws missing Tron land and passes. All right. Well, Ravens crime you. Unfortunately, these fatal pushes aren't looking good. Opponent discards an Ugin. We will play a Shrieking Affliction past the turn. Opponent, no damage yet. What do they find? The power plant runs out. A Walking Ballista. Okay, that's fine. We can kill that pretty easily. Ugh. Well, hmm. All right. Uh, we are going to discard our land, unfortunately. We would like to actually play it, but I think making our opponent discard is more important. Make our opponent discard the Karn past the turn down to one card so the damage starts the damage starts adding up opponent untaps gets hit are we taking down the enemy our biggest enemy in all of modern with just two lands and a bunch of fatal pushes that aren't very helpful <laughs> opponent 18 opponent 16 what do they find chromatic star cracks it for green draws a card and another ballista <clears throat> well, that's fine. Our fatal pushes are actually going to do something. Opponent attacks us. We will fatal push number one. Kill the ballista. Land to get our opponent empty-handed would be optimal. We can Raven's Crime again, retrace it. Opponent passes. All right. Well, yeah. Empty the hand. Discard the Castle Lockwain. It's a big Ugin. Pass the turn. And now we trust that our Rax get the job done. Opponent takes five. Down to ten. Down to nine. Oh, wait. Take six. Even better. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks us. Well, I mean, we will cast a lock, Wayne. Not going to get many other targets out of Tron. Opponent pings us. Yeah. And passes. We draw smallpox. Well, we will uh, we will cast smallpox. Opponent down to eight. And I think that's just game. I don't think there's any way our opponent can win from here. Opponent sacks, down to zero cards in hand, takes the rack beats, down to two, and there's no way. There's no way to get out from this. Plays a chromatic sphere. Sure, 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 sure. And, well, we didn't have many lands. We didn't cast any planeswalkers, but it did get the job done. And opponent scoops it up. All right. That worked pretty well. I am a little scared of this matchup. Smallpox is good. I am definitely... Whoa! 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 Scoops the match! Scoops the match! The salty scoop! <laughs> oh man! All right, that felt good. That felt good. Not only did we, <laughs> not only did we beat the Tron player, we beat him so bad and in such a salt-inducing way that uh, yeah, they gave up their will to play magic. Well. Score this victory. If we don't win another game with this deck, we will <laughs> we will always look back on uh, making a Tron player quit magic fondly. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are mulliganing with uh, with some rack action. Rack action. <laughs> a super frenzy. A super frenzy build of rack with many planeswalkers. This will keep... Uh, we'll probably put, hmm, interesting, probably put a Swamp to the bottom. I kind of want to keep Dagmar Salvage, because if we draw a bunch of lands, we can start just making our opponent discard every turn with Dagmar Salvage, but, uh, all right, Swamp and Inquisition, see what our opponent's doing. Ooh, Bitter Blossoms. Ugh, okay. Well, we're definitely taking Bitter Blossom. Yeah, that's, uh, that's frightening. Bitter Blossom seems good against us. Unless we draw another discard spell. Opponent. Dark's like Shores passes. Now we will Raven's Crime our opponent. And discards a Liliana. Do we want a Raven's Crime again? Yeah. All right. Raven's Crime. Actually, hang on. We got to play Castle Lock Wade. Raven's Crime. Discard deck more selfage. Opponent gives up on the Inquisition. All right. Well, the problem is this. Hmm. <clears throat> The problem is this, uh, this Bitter Blossom can come down, and that, I'm not sure how we beat that, honestly. Polluted Delta for our e footage cracks it, grabs an island, and there's a Bitter Blossom. Yep. 
Well, let's see what we draw. No dredging. Smallpox. I don't think we actually want a smallpox here. Play a land. Pass the turn. Opponent going to get a fairy. Yeah. Plays a creeping tar pit. And passes. Uh, no dredging. Well, play Davriel. Make our opponent discard. Gives up a fatal push. So opponent has Brazen Borrower and one unknown card in hand. Bitter Blossom, more tokens. I mean, I guess if we draw Rax, maybe there's a, a world where we can race. Mystical Sanctuary for our opponent. Hits Davriel. All right, yeah. I think this turn we actually do dredge. We dredge. We play Dakmore Salvage. We smallpox. All right, opponent has a cryptic. We sack Dakmore Salvage. Pass the turn. Ugh, but our opponent gets to run out Brazen Borrower. I think that was actually, we did punt there a little bit. We should have cast the, the Fatal Push first. Since we were going to discard it anyway. I don't think it'll actually be relevant, but that was a that was a mistake. Opponent yeah, takes their beats down to 14, but has a decent amount of power on the battlefield. Opponent gets it, hits us. And it kills Davriel and hits us. Sure. Well, we are down to 16. No dredging. Uh, play Shrieking Affliction. That's not bad. That is a clock. Is it a fast enough clock, though? Oh, opponent drew another Brazen Borrower. Okay. Well, now it's definitely not a fast enough clock. Opponent hits us for five. Yeah, I don't think there's a way out now. We draw a Swamp. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, all right. Bitter Blossom, got us. Mistake, not actually relevant to how the game played out. Ooh, yeah, Bitter Blossom's an issue. We could empty our opponent's hand... But uh, the Bitter Blossom, is that one's tricky. So I think we got to bring in Ratchet Bombs, because that can actually kill a Bitter Blossom. We can bring in Collective Brutalities. We probably go down the Small Poxes, which don't seem great against Bitter Blossoms. I guess we can bring in, like, a Bantu's Last Reckoning? The problem is, like, uh, Delirium Skines also seems good. Hmm. Just, like, more mass discard. We need to empty our opponent's hand as quickly as possible, I think. What do we cut? Maybe we, like, trim a Liliana, a Raven's Crime, and one Fatal Push? Yeah, let's try it like that. All right. More discard may be a way to deal with a Bitter Blossom. So on one hand, our discard should be good against our opponent's, like, counterspell plan. On the other hand, Bitter Blossom is just insane. Although, I guess maybe we got a little unlucky that they had two Bitter Blossoms in hand, so we couldn't Inquisition their only copy. This hand looks pretty good. We got a lot of discard. And then Davriel is our first rack. And if we draw lands, we can start Castle Lock waiting. Well, play a Swamp. Lead on the Inquisition. Try to get rid of Bitter Blossom. Um, oh, they have a Chase the Mind Sculptor, too. Well, we will take the Bitter Blossom. Pass the turn. Opponent. Dark Slug Shores. And passes. We'll play the Swamp. Wrench Mind. Make you discard two cards. Fatal Push. Cryptic Command down. Opponent ups. We do need to find a way to get rid of the Jace. The Jace would let our opponent refuel in a unacceptable manner. Opponent leaves the card on top. Plays the Sunken Ruins. Runs out a Gifted Aetherborn that we can't currently deal with. Well, play the Rack. Ravens crime our opponent. Pitches the Jace. All right, so we got rid of the Jace. Play the Castle Lockway. Pass the turn. Oh, so we need to find a Fatal Push to deal with the uh, deal with this gifted Ether board. Unfortunately, Collective Brutality doesn't quite do it. Field of Ruin. That's actually not bad for our opponent. The life gain from this gifted Ether board is probably the biggest issue at the moment. Opponent hits us, and they can blow up our Castle Lockway. Yeah. All right. Yep. Down to eighteen. Opponent passes. We draw a... Ooh, there's a Fatal Push. Well, let's collect a Brutality. Duress Mode. Make sure there's no counters. And then we can get rid of the Gifted Aetherborn. Oh, I really hope they didn't draw another Jace. Uh, boot it. Thinking about something. Davriel will actually become a lot better once we get rid of... It'll actually be very good once we get rid of this Gifted Aetherborn. Hopefully. Opponent... Alright, after some consideration, runs out of Brazen Borrower. The 
land in hand, well, we will fatal push the gifted etherborn. Pass the turn. All right. Well, now we got to get rid of a brazen borrower. Opponent down to 19. I don't know about this mystic sanctuary. Opponent's deck doesn't look very islandy. All right. Land and passes. Uh, hits us and then passes. Down to 15. Yeah, I mean, this is a clock. We do have quite a few dead draws. Well, all right. Davriel. Liliana's good. We only need one more land, and then Liliana's a removal spell. To hopefully get rid of this Brazen Borrower. Pass the turn. Opponent takes a bunch. Five this time. The scary part is our opponent could definitely draw into a counter. Uh, build it. Gets in. Gonna hit the Davriel. Yeah. And. Passes. Now play Castle Lockwain. And let's just pass. I think I'd rather draw with Castle Lockwain. And see if we can get to a scenario where we can cast a discard spell and Liliana in the same turn. Opponent, down to 12. We need this Liliana to resolve to kill the Brazen Borrower. Opponent hits us. Yeah, down to 12. The race is even. Well, one, two, three, and Castle Lockwain. Draw a card, down to 10. Wrench Mine. Well, Wrench Mine to our opponent. Empty the hand. Ugh. Play the swamp as the turn. It's all about this Liliana. Like, if this Liliana resolves that so we can kill the Brazen Borrower, we should win the game. Opponent down to nine. A land would be great. If we draw a land, we can add Raven's Cry and then Liliana. Opponent hits us. Down to seven. Oh, gifted Aetherborn. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Well, uh, Liliana, kill gifted Aetherborn. Past the turn. This does mean Liliana's gonna die, but opponent goes to six. They lose their life linker. Opponent has to attack Liliana. Yeah. Oh, so this, this is a really oddly close raise. Yeah. We draw. Ooh, okay. Inquisition, you. Archmage's charm to draw two. Take the Archmage's charm. Shrieking affliction. Past the turn, opponent goes to one, and I think this is exactly enough. So opponent goes to one, but the rack is now lethal. Even at just one damage, it's lethal. So I think we got there, and opponent, yeah, opponent could not get out from under it. Wow, that was really close. That was super close, but it worked out in the end. Whew, do we want to bring in Sorceress Spyglass? I think we just want to make our opponent discard the Jace. Although, I do think, now that we see Gifted Aetherborns, we probably do want to keep all the Fatal Pushes. And maybe go down to Collective Brutality. That doesn't actually kill the Gifted Aetherborn. Uh... Well, okay, we'll keep this. Polluted Delta for our Imputed. And our discard's a bit slow. Another Davria. We'll play the land, Shrieking Affliction. Pass the turn. Very scared of Bitter Blossom. No turn one discard. Does mean Bitter Blossom could be coming down. Opponent. Muta Vault. Well, no Bitter Blossom. That's good. I'll play a Swamp past the turn. Uh, boot it. Island and passes. I'll play a Swamp. Run out Davriel. Do we have a counter? All right, counter number one. Still a spell out of our opponent's hand. Oh, please no Jace. Please no Jace or no Bitter Blossom. Bout it. Passing. Ooh, well, wow, that actually, that actually works. Extra pates are Davriel. And we had another one in hand, which is brutal. Well, let's see if they also have a counter for the Liliana. Hopefully the answer is no. Yeah, so opponent steals a Davriel. Boy, two for one. Well, one for one, whatever. They actually got value out of that. Play a Liliana. Resolves. Now take up Liliana. Discard. Fatal push. Opponent discards gifted Aetherborn. All right. See what our opponent finds. This Delirium Skines could close out the game next turn. Opponent runs out a Spell Stutter Sprite. Sure. Untaps. Land. It's Liliana. Yeah. Well, let's see what we draw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Opponent. Oh, they do have a Jace. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so that's not good. So opponent gets to brainstorm. How do we beat this Jace? Can we beat a Jace? I don't know if we can. Yeah, so opponent brainstorms. We untap. Hmm. Well, we will dismember Spell Stutter, Delirium Skines, empty the hands. Liliana hits you for three past the turd. Opponent takes three more, but there's a Jace, so our opponent's drawing an extra card each turn, and we can't stop it. And it's even better than just drawing an extra card, because it's the best of their top three cards. Oh, we were so close. If we could have, if we could have uh, cast the Delirium Skies before the Jace came down, maybe we, oh, did we misplay? Should we have just cast it? And, well, I don't think we give up our Liliana. Liliana's too good to give up. But this Jace is definitely a massive, massive issue that I'm not sure, I don't know what we do about it. Opponent passes. Well, we will play a land. Take up Liliana. Opponent discards. And, um, yeah, I guess we just pass. Well, hmm, do we draw now? Maybe we draw now. We could draw, like, a rack. Yeah, let's draw now. Draw a card. Another Castle Logway and pass the turn. Well, what do you got, opponent? Untaps takes three. Down to ten. Brainstorms. Would, is there actually a chance that we can, that we can race the Jace? Is that even possible? So, opponent brainstorms. The Liliana is, like, keeping Jace at parity, essentially. More or less. Sunken Ruins. Interesting. I'm surprised our opponent played a card. Opponent passes. Well, we will play the rack. Castle Lockway. Take up Liliana. Make our opponent discard. Castle Lockway. Draw a card. Ooh, all right. Pass the turn. Okay. I mean, it's kind of working. Even through the Jace. Found it. I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're making our opponent discard through the Jace. Cryptics to Liliana, okay, but they're still taking a ton of damage here. Like, that's not a guaranteed out. That helps if they encounter it on the way back down, opponent down to five. But if they have to, well, they needed to, like, chain Cryptics, I guess. Opponent brainstorms with Jace. So all we want to do is draw a discard. That's pretty much it. Oh, we're so close. If we can get our opponent empty added one more time, or down to one card in hand on their upkeep one more time, we got them. A normal counter on Liliana is not that bad because it means our opponent's spending a card. Cryptic, on the other hand, is pretty bad. What do we draw? Ooh, that's not bad. Wrench, mind you. If this resolves its game, we maybe should have baited with Liliana, actually. Found it. Snapcaster for what? Mana leak that we pay for and then you lose? Do we beat a Jace? This hand on the battlefield for like 10 turns. We just, even with our opponent drawing an extra card each turn, we still got him. Maybe, uh, maybe New Liliana's just better than Jace. Opponent, <laughs> yeah, it's Mana Leak. Yeah, sure. Game? That looks like game to me. Opponent's thinking. I don't think it matters, though. Wow, what a crazy win for our deck. This Liliana is so underrated. Every time I play it, I'm just like super impressed with Liliana Waker of the Dead. It's very underrated. Opponent, oh, Archmage's Charm Shrieking Affliction. Okay. I think this still works, though, because the opponent has to discard. We play Liliana. Hit you for three. Upkeep. Hit you for three, and that's game. Opponent tried to find a way, but there was no way out through the Liliana. That, uh, that was pretty good. That was super good. All right. Budget magic time. We are super friends. Oh boy, super friends racking Liliana rack in a uh, in modern, and I like this hand. We have two racks and a smallpox and Inquisition. Seems good. Remand and desperate ritual. Well, we will take remand since it draws a card. Huh? What are we up against? Some sort of through the breach deck, I guess. Opponent plays a land. Let's see what we draw. Mobilize District. So I think we just play a Swamp and Smallpox. Discard Mobilize District. Sack of Land. Pass the turn. Snow Covered Island for our opponent. Well, we get to play... Ooh, boy. Devriel would be great if we draw another land. Play a Rack. Play a Shrieking Affliction. 
Oh, boy. If we can get Davriel down and keep our opponent discarding, we got a clock. Like, that's a lot of racks. But we need to get our opponent lower on cards. That is the challenge about it. We know they got a million lands. Yeah, Rack does nothing yet. Shivan Reef. And Electromancer. Oh, opponent Storm. Duh. That makes sense. I'll play another Rack. I haven't seen Storm in a while. Definitely very scared, though. So many Racks, but our opponent just has too many cards in hand. And they have a lot of... They don't have card draw, but they have a lot of can trips, at least. That can turn into card draw with, like, Passed in Flames. And they probably have Gifts Ungiven. So they do have ways to get more cards in their hand. Uh, opponent. Takes zero. Plays an island. Passes. Oh, well, Raven's Crime, our opponent. Kind of gotten punished for that smallpox. Opponent remands. Well, Raven's Crime, our opponent. Down to three cards in hand, but not enough to turn out our racks yet. Opponent takes zero. And with the Electromancer, they could win at any time. Serum Visions. Bottom top. Oh, here they go. Ritual. Manamorphose. To draw what they left on top. Gifts. Okay, yeah. So that should that should do it. Because our opponent's going to get the past in flames. Hmm. Yeah, we just don't have a way, a way to win from here, I don't think. Well, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll leave them with the rituals. But I think they still can go from here. Ritual, ritual, past in flames, reload. Yeah, all right. Yep, yep, yep. So even if there's a chance they fizzle, it doesn't really matter because they're going to refill their hand. So even if they can't kill us, they just make it so we can't kill them. We will bring in Cling to Dust. We'll bring in Collected Brutality. We'll bring in Delirium Skines. And we'll bring in Ashiok. Although I'm actually not sure how good Ashiok is. We will... Oh, this is actually really tough. What are we going to go down? We can go down a couple of Davriels. They're a little slow. We can go down a couple Lilianas, which are also a little slow. We do need creature removal. Maybe we don't bring in the Ashioks? I feel like Ashiok is a bit hit or miss. Like, because our opponent, as you saw there, they can, like, fill their graveyard and proceed to win in the same turn. So I think that makes Ashiok a little less effective as graveyard hate. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go down a couple smallpox. Well, Smallpox could be really good. Let's go down one more Davriel. Let's try it like that. Ugh. Yeah, not 100% sure the best way to sideboard against Storm with this deck. I mean, the thing we have going for us is discard should be good against Storm. Well, all right. Sure. We got lots of discard. We even have our, our sweet sideboard tech that's going to empty everyone's hands here in a minute. And we have a Fatal Push to deal with the first Electromancer, so... Well, play a Swamp and rack ya. Go. Uh, about it. Yeah, taking zero. Spire Bluff Canal. And Serum Visions. Opponent leaves one on top passes. Well, play a Swamp. Wrench Mind. If we had the choice, we'd like to get Liliana down before we Delirium Skines. We'll see what our opponent does. If they play like an Electromancer or something, we definitely just Fatal Push it. Spire Bluff. Electromancer. Yeah, so we're definitely killing this. Alright, we draw a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Fatal Push Electromancer. Pass the turn. Opponent not taking damage quite yet. Whoa. Ritual. Manamorphose. Is there a chance our opponent wins with no Electromancer here? That would be insane. Brawl. Shenanigans. Well, this is mostly okay. We get to Mobilize District. Liliana. Kill Brawl. I mean, losing the rack is annoying. But we have Liliana as a pseudo-rack. About it. Adepts. And. <laughs> Grape shots, Liliana. All right. Well, that is a bummer. Now we have no racks. Well, play deck more salvage. Hmm. Yeah, let's just delirium skines. Empty the hands. Discard the smallpox. So now our plan is beating down very slowly with mobilized district. Until we draw more racks. But we do have our opponent empty handed with only two lands, so it should take them a while to be able to storm off. And we have lots of live draws, opponent. All right, Electromancer's good for them. Well, Mobilize District. Get in, hit ya. Down to 17. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a land. 
Gives on given is getting to be a good draw now. That would be the concern. Opponent passes. Eh, all right, I like Shrieking Affliction. That does speed up our clock. Shrieking Affliction. Swamp. Mobilize District. So now we're getting in for six for uh, per turn. This is going to cut down the number of draws our opponent gets to find Gifts Ungiven. And Shrieky Affliction doesn't get hit by shenanigans, which is nice. Opponent. Down to 11. Oh, dear. Pieces of the puzzle. Into the Gifts Ungiven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh, so now we need a top deck or we're going to be dead. Opponent. Passes. And yeah, wrench mind is that top deck. Wrench mind you. That is exactly what we were hoping for. Okay, so we got to undo <laughs> the pieces of the puzzle. Turn Shrieky Affliction back on. Pwn it down to eight. And passes. Well, mobilize district. Go to combat. Attack you. They could have bolts, I guess, in their deck. It's not impossible. Pwn it. Five. Opponent two. So I kind of have to win this turn, I think, which should be tough. Even if they draw Gifts Ungiven, it should be tough. Or Pass in Flames. They'd have to have, like, Ritual and Pass in Flames be their last two draws. Oh, all right, we got there. The discard came through. Uh, maybe we do want... Hmm. Jeez. Yes, yeah, this is actually tricky. Let's not cling to Dust. Well, I kind of want another Ashiok. Do we want an Ashiok? Like, with how that game went, having our opponent with a full graveyard was pretty scary. Can we go down the Dismember? We do need to be able to kill the creatures. It's even more important now that our opponent's on the play. Uh, maybe we go one Brutality. Let's let's try it like that. Bring in one more Ashiok. Little more graveyard hate. Yeah, the way that game played out, if our opponent had... Whew, all right. This is not as fast as we'd like, and we don't have the removal spell... But we do have a lot of discard as the game goes along. We'll see. We'll see if it's enough. Opponent passing their turn for... Wow, okay. Interesting decision. Well, land and rack. Did our opponent mulligan to six and keep a no lander? That's an interesting choice. What kind of six would you keep? That must be like a bunch of cantrips. All right, Spire Bluff, cantrip. All right, so that makes a, a little bit of sense. Come on, early game discard. Well, Castle Lock Wayne, go. Opponent taking zero. Spire Bluff blows up the rack. All right. Well, play the Swamp. Play Davrio. It is nice that a lot of our racks get around Artifact 8. Davrio, make you discard. Well, next turn, there's a decent chance we can just empty our opponent's hand with just three lands on the battlefield. That's pretty good. Island. Opponents managed to hit all their land drops after that weird keep. Goblin Electromancer. Wow, they're just going for it? Ritual. Metamorphos. Past in Flames. Wow. I mean, if they can win from here, that would be incredibly impressive. Metamorphos adds blue for the Sleight of Hand, draws a card. Sleight of Hand. Well, we'll see. Come on, fizzle. All right, Gifts Ungiven. I think this is okay, though. Mostly. I'm a little nervous about the Past in Flames in the graveyard. Um... So opponent already played a land, right? Ooh, did they not play a land? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Well, I guess we actually have to mill the two rituals. Opponent passes. So we Davriel, make you discard. We Delirium Skines, empty the hands. Hold on to land, Liliana. All right. Pass the turn. Actually, I guess we would play our land. Pass the turn. All right. All right, so next turn we should be able to get rid of this Electromancer. If the opponent top decks a Ritual, ah, uh, okay, we should be okay. This is where drawing an Ashiok would be great. Opponent gets in, hits Davriel, Davriel down. Opponent passes. Well, we will Liliana. We will kill Electromancer. Eh, play deck more salvage. Pass the turn. Since we have Castle Lock Wayne, we do have a motivation to stay empty-handed. Opponent untaps. So if we can draw a Graveyard Hate to get rid of the past in flames i'll feel relatively comfortable opponent plays a land well hmm play a swamp cast a lot well actually play a swamp liliana get rid of the ritual draw a card yeah i think we actually cast those smallpox the less lands our opponent has the less likely they are to be able to combo off 
Because Passing Flames is five from the graveyard opponent. Sleight of hand, sure. So I think they're looking for, like, another Brawler Electromancer. Why we can't Liliana it. Opponent takes something and passes. Uh, no dredging. Um, well, Raven's Crime you. Ooh, get rid of the gifts. Hit you with Liliana. And draw a card. Do it now in case it's a land. All right, it's a land. Pass the turn. Yeah, we might have it locked in. Bone it. Liliana's big enough now that we can kill a creature. Pieces of the puzzle. Gets a couple cantrips. So now I think we actually dredge this deck more salvage. Dredge deck more salvage. Raven's Crime you. Liliana. Empty the hand. Draw a card looking for a rack. No dredging. Eh, all right, Fatal Push is fine. Pass the turn. The only bad news is we're not damaging our opponent yet. So we are giving them a bit of time to find something. Opponent plays a land. Passes. No dredge. Well, take up Liliana. Discard Raven's Crime. Hit our opponent. Draw a card. There's a Shrieking Affliction. Okay, that speeds it up. That speeds it up a lot. Shrieking Affliction! Now our opponent does not have much time to find their way out. They take three from Shrieking Affliction. Down to eight. Ops. To the top. Ops. To the bottom. And passing. Okay. Well, I think we dredge deck more salvage. Raven's Cry. Make you discard. All right. Cast the ritual. Sure. Got to send the message. Take up Liliana. Hit you to five. Draw a card. No dredge. There it is. Shrieking Affliction. Woo! All right. <laughs> good try, Storm. Good try. And this deck felt really good. Good lord. Found it. Scoops it up. Too many shrieks. Too much affliction. Yeah. Sweet. That worked really well. Sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are racking up wins. Oh, boy. That was horrible. <laughs> we are playing some uh, Super Frenzy 8 rack in Modern. And... We're going to keep this because we have two racks. We don't have any discard, which is concerning, but two racks is good. Uh, Ether Vile for our opponent. Well, play a swamp and the rack. Go. So opponent looks to be on humans, which this hand could be good against humans. So opponent's already down to four cards in hand, and we do have a fatal push. Drawing more removal would be good, but uh, opponent. Ziggurat and passing. Well, come on, discard. Discard and removal. That is discard. Hmm. Well, uh, let's think about this. Let's Shrieking Affliction. I think we're going to wait on discard. We'll get down another rack. If our opponent plays a creature, we can Fatal Push it. And then next turn, we can Wrench Mind our opponent down into damage territory. Vial up to two. Opponent up to five cards in hand. Plays a Ziggurat. Four cards in hand. Ooh, General Kudro. All right. That gets around Fatal Push at the moment. Well, untap. Can we race the General Kudro? Ooh, Liliana's not bad. Castle Lockwain. Wrench Mine. Get those cards out of your hand, opponent. Please no Vial. If they have a Vial, they can get away with discarding one. All right, two lands. Well, past the turn. Opponent starts taking damage. Taking five, which is not bad. Opponent. Yeah. Down to 17. Down to 15. Vial. Staying at two. Vial's in. Meddling Mage on fatal push all right that's good for our opponent and phantasmal image on meddling mage naming what smallpox all right so we take three i think we might be able to win this race though so we take three down to 17 but we get to untap play a swamp liliana hmm. take it up discard the fatal push so opponent goes to 12 then opponent goes to six from our racks, and then we can Inquisition if they hold a card in hand. I guess the way they get out of this is drawing a land. If they draw a land and can hold it in hand, that would that would keep our opponent alive. Maybe long enough to win. They're going to have to attack the Liliana, though. So we do have a couple of turns. Opponent takes, uh, keeps a violin two. Goes to six. Goes to combat. Everything face? Isn't this just admitting defeat? Uh, it looks like admitting defeat to me. Oh, doubly so. Well, play the rack. Play Inquisition. It's a land. Play the swamp. Take up Liliana. Pass the turd, and you take nine. And uh, that was a good try, humans, but not uh, not quite good enough. 
<laughs> stretched him out, racked him up, <laughs> and uh, got the win. Oh, uh, sweet. Well, humans, we want more removal. Bantu's last reckonings in. Ratchet bombs in. Maybe collective brutalities, although I'm less sure on collective brutalities. And I think we go down primarily Davriel. This is one of those matchups where Davriel just dies and dies and dies. Yeah, I go down mostly Davriel's. One Raven's Crime, run it like that. Well, that went surprisingly well, I will say. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. The Rack, Discard, and Ubuntu's Last Reckoning. This looks like exactly, exactly what we want against humans. Uh, we'll keep Ziggurat for our opponent. And Noblest of Hierarchs, sure. Ooh, another Bantu's Last Reckoning. We'll play the land, Inquisition. Take a... Eh, take the Mantis Rider, I think. Uh, it. Land, and General Kudru. Ooh, another Mantis Rider. All right, sure. Hits us for four. Well, that was a good draw for our opponent. That's some hasty damage. Castle Lockwain, Wrench Mind. Keep getting those cards out of hand. Opponent, all right, pitches the two lands, holds on to the General Kudro. Well, now ideally our opponent runs out the Lord and then we just Wrath. That is our, our hope, opponent. All right, General Kudro. So we take five and we are gonna have to skip a turn of untapping, but we're gonna put our opponent to not much going on. Opponent hits us. Sure, down to 11. And I'll play the land. And yeah, let's just uh, reckon, reckon away the humans. All right, so we gotta skip this turn. Drawing a land would be fine. Then at least we could fatal push or rack. All right, champion of the parish, opponent, Piasen, Schwamp, Liliana. All right, pass the turn. I mean, we have another wrath if we need it. So we're in very good shape here, even if our opponent has a good follow up. Meddling mage on Liliana, okay. Uh, opponent gets and hits us. Sure, sure, sure. Down to nine. Well, there's a land. So play the land. Play the rack. Pass the turn. Opponent. Down to 18. Island for our opponent. Last card is Mantis Rider. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So we're taking six. We're going to one. All right. Well, one it is. I think we'd rather go to one and save our fatal push than be at a higher life total and spend our fatal push. Wow, so many Lilianas. All right, one, two, three. Bantu's Last Reckoning, number two. Skip the turn. If our opponent draws a creature, it needs to be a one drop or a two drop and not Thalia. Opponent, 15. Noble Hierarch, that's acceptable. Opponent passes. We draw Castle Lockwain. I don't play Castle Lockwain. Pass the turn. This is so close, opponent. Down to 12. The rack stretching him out. Kite sail. Well, we will. Fatal push. Noble hierarch. Opponent sees Lilianatron. Yeah. Passes. Well, one, two, three, and four. Liliana. Gotta kill the kite sail. Pass the turn. Opponent drops to nine. What do they draw? Noble Hierarch. Okay, that's fine. Passes. If we draw a rack, we just win right now. Or Shrieking Affliction. Actually, can we win with Liliana? We can. I guess we win right now, right now. I just Liliana, Liliana, rack. So we can just ignore the Noble Hierarch? Boy, this went uh, this went pretty well. Maybe our deck's good against humans. <laughs> we draw a deck, more Salvage. Well, we'll take up Liliana. Discard Inquisition. Put our opponent to six. We will not accidentally cast a lot queen to death. Play a new Liliana. Keep the new Liliana. Take up the Liliana. Discard deck more salvage. Put our opponent to three. Pass the turn. Let the rack do its thing. And uh, yeah, not bad. Liliana's busted. It's so good. It's so good. Well, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about 16 rack 
probably better known as Discard Friends, in the modern format, and the deck kind of crushed it. We went 5-0, and we took down Tron, our arch nemesis, we took down a con very controlling JC Cardroy Fairies deck, we took down humans two different times, we took down Storm, so we played aggro, we played combo, we played control, and we were able to take them all down, and this deck felt very surprisingly good. I was a little nervous going into it. One of the big hitters for some past non-budget versions of 8 Rack is you have Ensnaring Bridge, so you can just lock creature combat out of the game. But thanks to Liliana and our Fatal Pushes and our Smallpoxes, we are able to deal with creature decks, especially after sideboarding and even more removal, pretty easily. And the discard's plan is insane. We saw that against Tron, taking all their finishers. We saw that against Storm, just wiping their hands so they can't combo off. It's even good against creature decks. And if we're playing an aggro creature deck, our opponents kind of got to like flood the board with their stuff to try to kill us, which naturally gets our opponent low on cards, which turns out our racks even quicker. So I gotta say, this deck felt pretty legit, like surprisingly legit, surprisingly competitive. It's super fun to play, and I gotta just gush a little bit about Liliana Waker of the Dead. I really think this card is very, very strong. Like, maybe busted strong? I, I don't want to say busted. It's not gonna get banned or anything like that, but this is a card that, it's definitely a huge sleeper. It's definitely super underrated. It probably should be being, seeing more play in Modern, in Pioneer, in Standard. It is just a really strong Planeswalker. It looks a lot worse than some Something like Liliana the Veil, but it actually compares pretty well. Uh, you get that discard, you get the damage, which is insane in this deck, being another like pseudo rack effect. Plus, the removal is actually really nice in some matchups, being able to kill what we want instead of an edict effect on Liliana the Veil. I actually think it compares pretty favorably. Yes, it is one more mana. Yes, it is a huge deal, but don't sleep on Liliana Waker of the Dead. It is a really, really strong planeswalker that probably should see more play across formats. Otherwise, I mean, the deck just felt good. If you like making opponents miserable, emptying their hands, making up the discard all their cards, plus getting to refuel with Castle Lockweights, dealing tons of tricky damage with Shrieky Afflictions and Racks and Liliana's and Davriels, I would definitely recommend this deck. It feels like a really legit budget deck for the format. It worked fine without its Snaring Bridge. I don't even think you need it. I don't even know if you want it, really, with all the Planeswalkers and removal we have now. I don't even know if you needed Snaring Bridge in the deck, even in non-budget form. So... I would definitely recommend it. If you want to do something different in Modern, make opponents discard cards, deal tons of damage, give 16 rec, probably better known as discard friends, a shot. So anyway, that has been our budget magic for this week. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.